seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Are you listening? Ricky J Sports. What is going on, my fellow YouTubers? I'm so happy to be here right now. Welcome to another Fight Camp video, and this Fight Camp video is on fighting patiently. Yes, that's right. And I'm Jacare, by the way, facing Rory McDonald. Let's see. This guy doesn't even want to touch gloves. What I want to talk about this video is about being patient, making your strikes count, only throwing punches when you have full stamina. Do not, if you're the type of person that unloads his stamina within the first minute of the fight, then you need to really change your game plan. You're not going to get to those top tier divisions if you're not managing your stamina, if you're not moving your feet, as I tagged him right there with a nice little overhand or a little hook right there. But don't be afraid to just move around and let your opponent throw his kicks and punches. That's what I really like to do in the beginning. Just sort of kind of getting used to your opponent's movements and you could really see the type of fighter you're facing when they're just randomly throwing punches and this is what my opponent's doing right now just not really being patient and I'm fine with him throwing I'm fine with blocking I'm even fine with losing the first round because their stamina will go right down and it'll be my opportunity to throw punches or go for the takedown as I'm doing right here and I want to gauge what this guy has on the ground and then another thing too is when you are good on the ground, it is a stamina sucker to your opponent. And oh, good for this guy getting out of it, but look how his stamina went down. And that sucks the life of him. If you can get that takedown, oh, or go, that, go for that low kick. I think my low kicks are one of my best takedown weapons. Taking people down really takes a lot out of them, especially if you can deny transitions. And this guy seems pretty good on the ground. Oh, I tagged him right there. But back on the feet, I'm keeping my combo short and then backing away, seeing what he's going to do. I'm not going to throw unless I have full stamina and moving around, using my footwork. I'm not looking to take him out within the first minute of the fight or the first round. I'm okay with dragging it on, seeing what this guy has. And again, he is throwing a lot of volume. He's, a lo he's punching a lot in at the air and <laughs> not really hitting me. And as you see, look at his stamina. I'm also always looking at my opponent's stamina. And when I see it go down, obviously I'm pouncing. Oh, and don't be afraid to throw those leg kicks. If you like going to the ground, those leg kicks, those leg kicks really can set up that ground game. And I'm going to see what he's got right here. I'm looking to Donkey Kong him right now. Oh, he's moving. Oh, I denied him. And Donkey Kong is in the house. And this really weighs on him. Oh, and he doesn't know what to do. He really doesn't know what to do. I got to be patient because my stamina is going down a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to deny him right there. Kind of move over into side control. Throw some more punches. And I'm feeling good, feeling good. So after that first round to recap, keeping my combination short, two to three with respect to the combos moving my feet don't throw punches unless you have full stamina if you're that type of person that's punching when your stamina bar is within mid-range stop doing that wait for your stamina be patient wait for your stamina to be at the top and then throw your punches move your feet let your opponent throw his wacky arsenal of attack and then take advantage of your opportunity because the real good guys in this game they look they, everything they do, they do with a purpose. They're not just throwing random strikes. Oh, that uppercut was great. But they're not just throwing random strikes. They're throwing things with a purpose. And I'm trying to go for that takedown, go for the head and the legs, and looking for my opportunity to get them to the mat. And when you're thinking about all that, when you're hitting them in the head, hitting them in the legs, going for clinches, going for takedowns, it's a lot for your opponent to think about, and that will set up your stand-up. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm tagging him. I'm tagging him. He's still throwing punches, and he's hurt. And I'm going for that takedown. Got that takedown, and it's time for me to work my magic on the ground. And again, Jacare's stand-up's not the best, but what is making his stand-up look good in this fight is 
his ability to get that fight to the ground and putting that seed in my opponent's mind that I may take it to the ground and then when he's thinking that I'm hitting him in the face. So right now I'm denying. This guy's in a world of trouble. I'm not being overconfident, people, but he has no stamina. I have full stamina, and I'm just going to unload. I love sitting on him right here and unloading. He doesn't know where to go. Denying, baby. Denying. He keeps on going to that same side. See how he keeps on going to that same side? It's too predictable, and all that waiting. Oh, yeah. This fight, I think, is going to end. Oh, my goodness. He can't take more, and it's over. Oh, I feel bad for this Rory McDonald character. But to recap, it's all about patience. All about not going full throttle right away, man. Kind of easing your way into your fight, looking for your spots, looking for your opportunities, and then taking advantage when you see those openings. That's what's going to make you a better fighter in this game. So, if you are that type that throws big bombs, gets in those wars i know it's good for the fans but it may not get you that winning streak it may not get you those wins against those top tier kind of guys so be patient be ready look for your spots and then take advantage people all right baby this is ricky j baby from ricky j sports don't forget people take advantage of the 5k giveaway all you have to do is click on that video that i did the 5k giveaway say a comment about what you liked about the channel and you have a chance to win some great prizes this is ricky j baby from ricky j sports and you are awesome